Uh, Lindsay's attorney basically was at a point where she didn't need to represent her anymore. Her job was done. They, she took her through the sentencing. But, you know, we need to look at Lindsay Lohan as a very almost tragic figure today. She's a young girl who basically has had no family unit. She's had a conditioning since childhood that anything goes for her, and now she's caught in the vortex of the justice system. And that justice system is basically telling her uh, it's our rules, not yours anymore. So Lindsay Lohan, in my opinion, she needs a father and a mother or a family unit in the alternative to basically walk her through this next very difficult period, and she's got to get into rehab. If I represented her, what I would have done is before that sentencing, I would have gone in and said, I'm asking for a stay of sentencing because she's in rehab. Yeah, That's why, what I would have done. Why didn't they do that? Because I've seen that done. You know, I was a prosecutor, as you know, down at the LADA's office, yep. and you would see that kind of disposition worked out. Yep. The, the judge really had no choice in this case, Deb. None, none, none whatsoever. It was a basic problem of client control. She needed an attorney if she could have gotten one. I don't know if there is an attorney who could control her at this point in time. But she needed an attorney to basically say, here are the rules, you're going to follow them, you're going to be here at this time, there at that time, and you do it or else you're going to jail. And mean it, do it, say it. I'm sure, I'm sure they did. It, it just like went right over her head, and she's so used to getting things her way that it must have been like a total shock to her. Right. That, hey, listen, Lindsay needs tough love right now, and if she was in a room with me, I'd say, look, this is the way it is. You have to deal with the system or else you will be consumed and you will die, one way or the other. Who's her attorney, though, now? That's the thing. I mean, Deborah, I think you need to go and step in. Seriously. <laughs> uh, she has, from what I understand, uh, a, a probably a new attorney who uh, is going to try to help her. But if you really look at it, if she has money problems, the big attorneys out there are not going to take on the case. Um, if somebody came in with enough credentials who said, look, this is going to be pro bono, I'm going to help you, but you've got to listen to me, and we're getting into a rehab program immediately. Take her out of the system, put her into the rehab, and if she can just escape for a moment in time from that vortex of the justice system and get into rehab and start showing the court and the judge, I'm fixing myself, I'm understanding that it is my responsibility, I was a danger to society, I'm a danger to myself, and I'm taking my first steps. I'm helping myself, please help me. Who is going to help this girl? I mean, everyone agrees she needs help. Everybody feels badly, you know, for her that she was, you know, this child star and just like has run amok and the mom and dad and living off the celebrity. I mean, I, I don't know where there's like a, you know, light at the end of the tunnel here for her. Well, we, we've got to be positive. We, we have to know that there is a group out there, right. whether it's medical professionals or rehab, lawyers, whatever. I mean, you know me a long time. Yes. I'd be the first person to sit in a room with her with a cup of coffee and say, Lindsay, look, here are the rules of the game. I will help you. And I wouldn't charge her in this respect just to give her the consultation. I'd say, here are the rules of the game. I will walk along. You're free to call me anytime you want for a uh, consultation in terms of whatever. And if people like that get out there, if a Robert Downey calls her and says, look, kid, this is what you're facing. If a medical professional gets out there and says, look, Lindsay, this is what you're facing. If people give an hour of their time and talk to her and a team is put together of people who may be able to help her, medical professionals, rehab people, a manager, and she listens. And maybe she has not yet reached rock bottom. But if she starts to listen and gets out of this vortex of the justice system that she is challenging and which is now challenging her, she will see that light at the end of the tunnel. Can I just say something, though? There's a vortex of celebrity that you and I cannot begin to imagine. And I've seen it up close and personal. It isn't pretty. Me too. These people are hard to help in that respect because they, they believe their own press. You know what I'm saying, Deborah? They believe well, Robert press. Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. reached rock bottom, and he is the most respected celebrity comeback in town. Yes, and this is a man. He is the poster boy of uh, being a drug addict, alcoholic, and getting out there. And I respect him. Me I, too. I can so only I. tell you, he's better today than ever before. And Lindsay Lohan, I respect her talent. I followed her career. She went down a path. She's lost. And there has to be some way, without her dying first, I agree. for her to right. rebound and say, hey, look, I want to choose life, not right. death. I think it's going to be a wake-up call to her, to her family, too. Hopefully it's a wake-up call to her mom and her dad. You know, listen, the dad's a different story. The mom, we see the bad. There's got to be good in her. She looks like a very strong woman. 
I think if she really uses it as a wake-up call, they can bring the family together. You know, the girl's a superstar. So well, Dad they're gonna, should, I think Dad they're going to be, be, be good CNN. in the end. Right, well, we no, Dad no, should he... not be on television. <laughs> right. No, we agree right. with that. <laughs> we, we all agree on that. Okay. Pardon? Yeah. All right, uh, Deborah. thank you so much for being here with us. We'd love okay. to have you back again. It's always a pleasure. Okay. It was uh, involved in interesting uh, cases. So thank you so much uh, from New York okay. City.